day I was wounded was uh, December 20th, 2007. And uh, we were finishing a 10 day, what was supposed to be a 30 day mission of uh, taking over the city of Scandaria and that's about 50 miles south of Baghdad. We were going around in our vehicles to secure the area. We were uh, struck by a pressure plate uh, um, roadside bomb underneath my seat. I flew into the roof of the truck, smacked my head. I landed on the side, uh, on the center of the console of the vehicle. I uh, noticed that uh, my left leg was gone immediately. And uh, I didn't know about the rest. I just knew that I was laying in a pool of blood. And I was put on a C-17 uh, that night to go to um, Germany. And um, I didn't remember anything. Uh, all I knew is I woke up, uh, I was in a hospital room. Well, I spent two days there. Uh, then I was sent to uh, Walter Reed Army Medical Center in Washington, D.C., where I've been for the past 14 and a half months. You begin uh, by strengthening your body back over, uh, making those muscles that they're they, they going to help you walk stronger. So once you do get the prosthetics, you are able to walk and you are able to uh, use those muscles. Once I got my prosthetics, it was, it was all all part of putting everything that I, I had just worked on together and working with the prosthetics, learning how the, how the machine works. When, when she first heard about it, she said she was uh, extremely worried, but at the same time, she was very happy that I was still alive. And the only thing I pensaba was that Todo iba a salir bien. The only thing you can think about is that everything's going to be fine. Y a echarle ganas. <laughs> and I work hard now. Mm -hmm. put, a, put a lot of effort into recovering. She motivated me every day. Every morning she came to my, my uh, ward, to my room in my ward. She spent all day with me. She walked to my therapist with me. She pushed me down to everything, every point, everything. She was there with me the whole process from the very beginning to the very end. And uh, I mean, it was just a, a huge motivation just to have her there and uh, help me, you know, it makes me try to be a, a, a demand for her, you know, and instead of just saying, oh man, it hurts or oh this, oh that. And I'm like, no, I gotta be strong because I'm the man of the house. No matter what, I'm still the man of the house. So it doesn't matter if I have no legs, I'm still the man of the house and I gotta take care of that. We tried to get some as close to a handicap accessible, but we weren't able to. Um, like for example, a ground, uh, ground level apartment, we weren't able to do that. We ended up with a second floor apartment, so I gotta go upstairs. When I, when I come home, I gotta go up the stairs and when I leave home, I gotta go down the stairs. Where are the legs? Every time I go to the restrooms, there's no bars to hang on to. So every time I, I'm, I'm going on the restroom or I'm going to take a shower, there's nothing to hang on to. Everything's so slippery. And uh, basically, it's just I had to either wear my legs everywhere and everything I do or drag myself around the, the house because uh, there, it's not handicap accessible, so I can't roll in with a wheelchair. So And it's extremely hard when you first wake up and your legs are still sore from the day before. There's so many things that are just extremely hard to do because of the space and not accessible. I think Homes for Troops is uh, incredible. I mean, I, I can't explain how much they mean, or how much everything they do for us means. They really go out of the way to make the veterans have a much better life, be so much more independent and have that freedom. I don't know how to explain that, but it's amazing. Es un sentimiento inexplicable. Uh, having a new home like that would be a, a huge change uh, in a feeling that can be, can be explained. Porque, este, yo lo que quiero es que él sea independiente, que no dependa que yo le ayude a hacer las cosas. Right now it's a little difficult for us because what she wants from me is for me to be independent and not be depending on her to do things for me. Entonces, um, pero a pesar de, de, de que no tenemos mucho espacio, there's no way I can explain in a million years what having a home uh, that 
you can be comfortable and you can actually go and rest and and be in peace uh you know it, I, there's no way i can explain it in a million years how how much better life is going to be being able to do that